National outlets are calling out Hubbard Broadcasting for removing an anti-Republican ad from airing on its owned and operated television stations. Hubbard Broadcasting has a track record of removing political ads they consider misleading. Most recently, WDIO in Duluth and KSTP in the Twin Cities pulled this ad from their airways. Stuart Mills inherited his millions and got a family job paying $560,000 a year. This television advertisement is paid for by Democratic-leaning House Majority PAC and AFSCME. The ad criticizes Congressman Rick Nolan's Republican challenger, Stuart Mills. After the ad's debut, the Mills campaign sent a letter to television stations in the region demanding the ad be taken down. WDIO and KSTP choose to pull, chose to pull the ad from their, air, their station's airwaves. But Congressman Rick Nolan says WDIO and KSTP's decision to pull the ad is due to their executive's cons conservative political leanings. So uh, the fact that Stanley Hubbard and uh, his New York City billionaires are pulling the ad I don't think is any uh, coincidence. Um, they're trying to do everything they can, everything they can to, to get their, their, their friend super millionaire uh, Stuart Mills elected to the Congress. So far this election cycle, Hubbard Broadcasting executives and family members have donated at least $14,000 to the Mills campaign for Congress. WDIO's general manager, George Couture, said the, st the station found the attack ad against Mills misleading.